What's up guys, it's Burning Grubber again and we have another product to review for you. It is the OBD11 Pro Pack. On their website, this product costs about $120. It comes with 200 credits. We'll talk about that a little bit more shortly. But this is a really cool device. It plugs into your OBD2 port and allows you to do all sorts of cool tweaks and changes to your vehicle. Uh, it's specifically designed for Volkswagen and Audi cars. Uh, the reason I really like this product is it allows you to do some pretty neat resets. Uh, I'm talking about like a service interval. So my A4 just hit 40,000 miles, which requires a full dealership inspection. However, I called the dealership and I asked, well, how much is, gonna, is this going to cost for you guys to service this vehicle at 40,000? They came back with a price of about $1,300, which included changing spark plugs, flushing the transmission fluid, changing air cabin filters, and also obviously resetting the light itself. I thought that was too expensive, so I ended up just having them flush the transmission fluid because I thought that was the bare minimum. Um, and from that, they did it. However, the service interval light was still on and you can't reset it using the MMI system. So this device right here came to the rescue. I was able to reset it. Very awesome, very awesome device. I wanna walk you guys through some of the cool features that it has and let's go check it out. So here's the device itself. It comes in a very small little box, the instruction manual. Um, it'll prompt you to download the, the app for both Android and iPhone, which is pretty neat. The actual device itself right here, which plugs into your OBD2 port and a little keychain, which is kind of neat, but. So let's go ahead and plug this device in. You can see the red LED glowing that it's on. So now that we have it plugged in, we're gonna push the start engine uh, without starting the engine, just to have the ignition on. So we're just gonna press without pressing the brake. The car's on. And you'll see I downloaded the app, which is shown right here as OBD11 from the App Store. We're gonna press it. We're gonna hit connect. It's gonna give us a list of devices. That's the one. It takes about a second and now it's connected. Sweet, so it's detecting the vehicle, shows that it's an Audi A4, also shows you the, the battery voltage, which is kind of interesting uh, since it is discharging. And then the very first thing it does is reads control units. Uh, it's just a standard uh, procedure that it goes through. So we'll give this about a minute or so to finish up. And then once we are past this, we'll go into all the different things that we could change on, on the vehicle. Um, so now that we have uh, all, the, all the diagnostics complete, we're gonna go to apps, we're gonna go to workshop, and here you could see all sorts of different resets that you could do. Um, I will warn, warn you, and this is the pro version, so it comes with 200 credits, but each operation that you do is gonna cost you a certain number of credits. In order to get more credits, you could either watch ads or you could purchase them uh, underneath, I think it was a profile page. So if you go to credits balance, I currently have 195 of them. I could go ahead and buy however many I want, or I could just watch uh, some ads and get five credits, either one. So let's go back to apps. So you can see that uh, the inspection service re reset, that's the one I, I already per performed. Uh, you'll see that it used to say service required every time you started the engine, which was pretty annoying, uh, but that no longer is the case. Uh, but this would cost me 10 credits in order to um, change. Let's go through some of the other apps that I, I thought are really neat. I will say like it's a very long, extensive list of all sorts of goodies you could do on, on your car. Um, but the other detail I wanna mention is that a lot of these are only uh, for cars that have specific features already in them, such as lane assist or uh, uh, parking sensors. This A4 is the, the base model, so it doesn't have a lot of those, like the mirror dip. I can't do that since I don't even have uh, uh, mechanical motors in the mo mirrors themselves. It doesn't do anything. So we're gonna skip all those. But there are a couple that I wanna point out that I think are really cool and you guys would like them. So the first one that I thought was really neat was called the uh, needle sweep. And so what it does is when you start the ignition, it will do uh, a complete sweep of both the RPM and the, and the speed gauge. Kind of gives it more of a sporty, sporty sense right before you start the car. So we're gonna just scroll through here and, and look for a uh, needle sweep. I think you could also search for it, so that's kind of neat. So gauge test needle sweep. So currently it's off is what the, what the value is. It's gonna cost me 10 credits to change the value. So I'm gonna hit on, I'm gonna hit activate. It's gonna activate, it's gonna confirm that it's done. 
And so now, whenever I go to my engine to start it, you'll notice that when I press the engine start button, it does a pretty sweet needle sweep. And then life goes on as normally. So another really cool one, I, I actually already performed it. So um, I'm not gonna show you exactly how to do it, but if I search for gear display, a, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, guys on the forums really like to do this one, but it allows you to see what gear uh, the vehicle is in with the drive mode. Um, so normally speaking, uh, from the factory, this car will do that only if you're using the Treptonics or the, 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 the shift knob uh, and you have to manually switch it. But here, if I drive, even without those features, it's gonna show me what gear the vehicle is in, which is really cool. For 10 credits, I think it's very worth it. Um, but besides that, there's lots of really cool different things you could do on, on this app. I, you know, there's tons of forms out there that give you specific uh, descriptions with every single one of these. Uh, but generally speaking, pretty neat, highly recommend. Uh, I mean, j just for the, the service interval reset, I think this makes this device already worth it. Um, and then all the other tweaks you could do are just kind of like the cherry on top. Very, very neat. So now that we looked at it for the A4, I want to take a step and look at what we could do for the A7. The A7 has more features with the car itself, so you could do a little bit more uh, from the app perspective. You could do more tweaks. You know, you have a whole bunch of sensors that this car doesn't have, um, but we're gonna uh, go see and, and see what changes we can make to it. So let's go through some of these apps. You know, again, you're not gonna see as much as what the A4 had just because that body is newer. Uh, but generally speaking, tons of forms will have all sorts of descriptions for every single one of these items. So another one I wanna talk about is this start, stop button inverse. Um, and so I think a lot of guys will actually like this one. I've seen it on the forums multiple times, but basically on newer cars, uh, there's this feature where the engine is shut off whenever it's w whenever the car is stationary for long enough. Um, you could dis disable that feature by hitting this auto off. However, whenever you start the car up again, it's gonna default to being on again. So basically, whenever you're at a stoplight, street light, and your car is not moving, it's gonna shut off the engine. This is kind of annoying sometimes, but this feature right here will allow you to inverse it. So basically then it becomes by default, when you start the car, it's always going to be uh, not engaged. So your engine will always be running whenever you're stopped. And then if you wanted to, for whatever reason, shut off your engine at a street light or at a stoplight, you could press that button and it will do so. So we could change this value to be uh, inversed. So activate. And so now what happens is this orange is going to glow. Um, and every time you start, on the, start up the car, it's always gonna default to it being as if it was pressed. A pretty cool one that we also turned on is this gear indicator. And so just, on the, just as it is on the A4, uh, it allows you to show what gear you're in uh, whenever you're just driving uh, in the drive mode. Um, so normally this feature is only available if you're in the manual. So you're either using Treptonics or using um, uh, the pedal shifter. However, uh, this is pretty cool because it'll always show you what, what gear you're in regardless of your drive mode. Um, so yeah, these are just all the features that you have. And like I said, there are many forms out there describing every single one of these. But generally speaking, um, I will say the, the A4 has more things you can control since it, you know, even though it's the same year car, the, the body is a little bit newer. Um, however, on my specific A4, there's not as many things I could change just because it's the base model. Uh, but it's still pretty neat to have access to all sorts of uh, tweaks you could do on your car. So if any of you guys live in a colder climate, you will know that it's kind of nice preheating your car whenever it is really cold outside. However, you don't want to be in the car during that preheating. So there's this law in Germany actually where no German cars are allowed to have the car running with no one inside it. So what sucks is I could start my car, but then when I step out of it, I can't lock it. Uh, it's pretty unfortunate because all of a sudden it becomes a risk of someone just taking my car and driving out with it. However, the OBD11 has a really cool feature, which I think is going to allow me to change that. So let's, let me show you a quick demo. So I'm going to start the vehicle, I'm going to get out of it, and using my FOM, I'm going to attempt to lock it. Notice that nothing happens. The car is still accessible. 
So let's go ahead and use the OBD11 to reprogram it to allow us to lock the vehicle when the engine is running. Central lock with ignition. So this application allows us to activate central locking with key when ignition is on or engine running. So we're gonna give it a second to load what the current value is. It says it's off, let's change the value to be on. Let's activate it. It says done. Sweet. Now let's go ahead and try it. We're gonna go ahead and fire up the engine. Cool. Going to close the door. And now I can lock the car. Pretty neat. That's actually, it's really neat actually. <laughs> we completely bypassed the German law just now. All right guys, well that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Gotta say, this device is incredible. Uh, to be able to do the changes that we did on this car is awesome. By far, I think the coolest feature of it is being able to reset the service intervals. I was able to save a lot of money by not going to, to the dealership and getting it reset for $25. You know, it's a one-time fee that you pay for this device and you could reset it all you want whenever it comes up. The other cool features that I think, in my opinion, are is one, the needle sweep whenever the car gets started. Um, and then also being able to see what gear you're driving in when you're just in the, in the drive mode. Uh, and then for some people, personally not for me, but uh, they like it when the engine auto start stop function is disabled. Um, and everything else on, on this device, yes, there's other things you could change. Personally for me, I like it simple. If it doesn't have any use for me, I don't really care about it. Uh, but generally speaking, really cool device. The only downside in my opinion is, is that you have to pay for the credits in order to change these values and I mean this device itself costs already $120 and then you have to pay even more just to just to do uh, the additional work. Granted it does come with the 200 credits which is, which is really neat but to be able to uh, have to do that is kind of silly in my mind but I get it it's kind of just the way uh, they're uh, working. I will say huge shout out to OBD11 for sponsoring this video you know it's a very unbiased review uh, but I will say their product is awesome and I would highly recommend it to you guys. Check out the link in the description below for you to buy yourself one. Thanks, guys.